Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. In this video, we are going to look at uh, three questions, three physics questions. They appeared on the multiple choice exam. Uh, it's the AS physics paper, AS physics paper, paper 1, 1, October, November 2019. So we have question 23, 24 and 25. Let's go through them. Uh, before that, please give me a like and share this video as much as you can. Uh, follow me on uh, Facebook and YouTube. So question 23, we have uh, source S emits microwaves with a constant amplitude. Okay. As you see it. The microwaves hit a metal screen P, okay, and are reflected, okay. A stationary wave is formed between S and P. Good. The wavelength of the microwaves is much smaller than the distance between S and P. So, before we do anything else, I have drawn a typical picture of a stationary wave here uh, after reading the information up to this point that is we have a source emitting a wave it is reflected a stationary wave is formed and the wavelength is smaller than the distance between s and p so here i have a picture of a typical stationary wave now let's read on a detector q is moved whereas the detector this one here is moved at a slow constant speed uh, from S to P, okay. What happens to the amplitude of the signal uh, detected by Q? By looking at this picture, you know the answer straight away. Yeah. Correct response is B. The amplitude will increase and decrease regularly. Yeah, as you can tell from this picture here. Good. Again, correct response is B. Now let's look at 24. The siren of a moving police car emits a sound wave with a frequency of 440 Hz. A stationary observer hears sound of frequency 494 Hz. Those are important numbers, yeah? You'll know in a minute why. The speed of sound in air is 340 meter per second. Our question, what could be the speed and the direction of movement of the car? Okay, question number 24 is not a hard question. It deals with the Doppler effect. Okay, we have covered this in our class. Okay. And this is the formula that we'll be using, yeah, before anything else, yeah. This is the formula we'll be using. What is this? This is the observed. Okay. Maybe I should write it better. This is observed, yeah? Or observer. And this one here, this F is your source. Okay. So the source here is the uh, moving police car. And the frequency is 440 hertz. What's the speed? Oh, that's what we're trying to find, okay? Let's call the speed of the police car V, yeah? And then we have a stationary observer. So this thing here, 494, is F0, which is 494, okay, 494 hertz. And this is the speed of sound in air, C, which is 340. Yeah? So this one here, okay, will be F, 440. C is 340. Uh, F0 is 494. We are trying to find V. I just gave you all the numerical values, yeah, because this is the formula that we're going to use. Before anything else, right, before anything else, you look at F0 here, okay, the observer frequency is 494, and the source frequency is 440. So since your F0 here, 494, is bigger than 440, you know that the source is moving towards the observer, yeah, the source is moving towards the observer. So you already know, half of the answer yeah 
Okay, then you need to plug in the numbers, yeah? F0 is uh, 494, and then C is 340, and then uh, B is what we're trying to find, and F is 440. Uh, just use a calculator and you work out V as 37.16 meter per second. Therefore, correct response is A, 37 meter per second, directly towards the observer. Okay, now let's move to 25. An electromagnetic wave, an EM wave, has wavelength of 138 picometer. 138 picometer will be 138 times 10 to the power of minus 12 meter. It will be 1.38 times 10 squared times 10 to the power of minus 12, which will be 1.38 times 10 to the power of minus 10. This is in meters. To which region of the electromagnetic spectrum does this wave belong? Now, I'll just take you through the responses. Okay, those of you who know your EM spectrum well, you know the answer straight away is D, X-rays. Uh, a radio wave, I've given you typical wavelengths. Yeah? These are typical wavelengths. Yeah? Okay, so radio wave is bigger than 10 to the power of minus 3 meter, microwave 10 to the power of minus 1 to 10 to the power of minus 5 meter, visible light about 10 to the power of minus 7 meter, these are all meter, yeah? And x-ray about 10 to the power of minus 10, okay, 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. So, correct response will be D, x-ray. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please share and give this video a like. Share as much as you can. Uh, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you.